Hey guys and gals, how we doing? Welcome back to the Music Factory Studios. Today we're going to be checking out Deepin version 20, now known as UOS. I know my intro is a little longer than normal, but I'm having to do a voiceover of a video I already recorded. So let's check out Deepin Linux. It has changed its name to UOS. In front of you is the file manager. You can see the apps that are installed by default and there are new icons and we'll go through the new settings app, which is really nice. But as you can see, they have improved the file manager. I think it's a great file manager. You can also see how the disk is laid out now and it's not so convoluted as it once was. They did change the calendar, which I really, really like. Before in deep in 15, the calendar didn't have a dark theme and it was real real basic and it's really nice now but let's look at the deepen settings app it's no longer a push out sidebar kind of like the budgie raven menu but this menu is a little more intuitive a little nicer and i have to say that i think with huawei putting some money into the deepen linux company that it has shown improvements now you can do a bunch of cool new things to set up deepen i think it's still using the kwin window manager but i couldn't install any third-party apps even though apt or app was installed i couldn't install any apps onto this version of uos or deepen v20 so it's kind of hard to really know what the OS is going to be, but it does have a release date, I think, of January 2020, but don't hold me to that. It has an easier way to update, and it does a few things that I really think are super important for Linux in the long run, okay? And we're going to cover those right now. So let's look at the Deepen Menu Editor, or what used to be the side slide-out panel. You have your account and your display and this is the most important thing on your display you have your option for your resolution and your brightness but most importantly you have what i really miss in other distros and that is display scaling most have 100 percent or 200 percent, and that's it sure you can use xr and r but it's so much easier to do it this way and people who are new to Linux aren't going to do it the elitist way by opening a terminal. They want it this way and this is how it should be done. Okay, if you want to work in the terminal, work in the terminal, but that's not for everybody. And this is great because I have a 4K TV and I have to scale it up to 1.5 just to be able to see things so they're not really small. Now you can set your refresh rate and it has a new web browser called UOS and it's based on Chrome as you'll see a little bit later we'll take a look at, at this UOS browser but it's Chrome based because I was able to install Chrome extensions Thunderbird is the mail client you also have the basic Deepen editor as the text editor Deepen music is still here it's been improved a little bit as well as Deepen video has been improved and those are really great, great stock apps. There's a new Deep and Draw app as well, along with the Deep and Image Viewer and the really great Deep and Terminal. Now you can see we have new accent colors, light and dark, plus pink, orange, yellow, and so on. You can adjust the transparency as you could in the side menu before. There's new icons, as I said, dark, light, classic, and papyrus are installed by default. And that's really, really great. That gives you a few options for those of us who don't want to install a bunch of themes. We do have some options there. We have four different cursor versions and we can adjust the font size and the fonts. You have network, sound, everything worked for me just fine. I use a Zoom R16 on the machine I installed Deepin on. It's just a home theater PC, a little HP with an i3. And it, it recognized it immediately, so that wasn't a big deal. You can turn off the sounds of the of the OS itself if you want to. Uh, you can set your time to be 24 hour time or 12 hour time. You also have a uh, set up for touchpad, mouse. That machine didn't have a touchpad. You have your keyboard layouts, a new updating system, which is great. You can go in here and change the smart mirror switch 
and go through the menu list or the mirror list and see which one is the fastest for you and use it if you want to or a more trusted source if you think you would rather use that source as you can see this is an i3 7100 nothing special eight gigs of ram they are running kernel 4.19.0.6 and deepen is really really moving forward in a good way i think and i think it's a big help from huawei so let's check out this UOS browser thing. Chrome is no longer installed by default, which was the default web browser in Deepin 15, the previous version. It's all in Chinese, so I really didn't know what to do to see if it was like a Chrome-based browser or a Firefox-based browser. So what I did was open the Chrome Web Store and uh, just tried to install a Chrome extension. I was able to install uBlock Origins and it's basically a Chrome clone, probably of Chromium. And I was able to install, you know, uBlock Origins. And you, as you can see here, I just grabbed the first thing that comes up on the page. It, it says, do you want to add this or not? And, you know, that's really great if you like Chrome based browsers, which most new people to Linux still use. Now, there are some things that were not working for me, such as the screen recording now, the Deepin screen recorder will actually give you the option to record your microphone or the system sound, but I couldn't get it to do so. But remember, this is beta software. You can also change the look of the taskbar. It has a Windows feel and this new, not really Mac dock thing. It's its own original thing. Now, as you can see here, I'm gonna to try to install an app. I think I tried to install HTOP and it couldn't find HTOP for me. So, eh, you know, as you can see, app is installed, but I was not able to pull down any packages whatsoever, but that's okay. This was just a look at Deepin version 20, or now as it's going to be known, UOS. Look, I used this when it was called High Weed Linux, okay? And it was based on Ubuntu and it worked. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. This is Joe Sayers for the Music Factory Studios. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, y'all.